So next natin yung attacker is problem 606. So suppose hindi pa given yung ating figure. So sabi dito, determine the maximum diffraction in a simply supported beam. So simply supported beam, ibig sabihin meron tayong pin support at rower support. Tapos ang haba ng beam ay rent L carrying, carrying a uniformly distributed load of intensity W0. W-O. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong uniform, distri uniformly distributed load. Ibig sabihin, siya ay, uh, siya ay rectangular na load. So, siya ay applied over its entire length. So, sa buong L natin, dyan, naka yung ating distributed load of value na W0. So, Ang key concept natin, kapag meron tayong distributed load, hanapin muna natin yung kanyang resultant. So, paano manap yung resultant? Etong distributed load of W0, siya ay applied over the span of L. So, yan ay W times L. So, ang ating resultant, which is located sa gitna, yan ay WO times L. So, sabi natin kanina sa ating first problem, para ma-determine natin ang supports sa isang symmetrical na figure. Kaya nga nang natin atiin yung ating applied forces into two. So yung ating total applied forces is W O times L divided by 2. Ibig sabihin, eto ay W O L over 2. Eto ay W O L over 2. So after nyan, proceed na tayo sa pag-determine ng equations natin. So, first step is mag-section tayo. Somewhere dito, take natin yung nasa left side. So, yung, yung distance from starting point up to sa ating section, yan ay x. So, para sa ating moment equation, e i y double prime, ating assumption, Crackwise yung positive. So, etong R1, siya ay, counter, siya ay crackwise mag-rotate about the section and ang kanyang distance ay x. So, yan ay W0L over 2 times x. Next naman, <coughs> nung una, ang ginamit natin for the resultant is W0 times L kasi yung ating WO is distributed over the span of L na length. Pero this time, since tayo ay nag-section, yung, yung ating load of intensity WO, siya ay distributed only within the span ng X meters. Kasi X lang yung haba ng ating section. So, ibig sabihin, yung ating bagong resultant, siya ay may, siya ay may intensity na WO times X. Kasi doon lang siya distributed sa x na rent. Ngayon, ang kanyang position, kung siya ay ating ipapwesto, siya ay nasa gitna ng ating x. So kung isipin, kung ating i-analyze, ang kanyang location ay kagahati na x, which is x over 2. Again, ang resultant sa isang rectangular load is nakaposition sa gitna ng span niya. So, kanina, siya ay rent L. So, gitna ng rent L is L over 2. Nasa gitna tayo ng L. Pero this time, since X yung haba natin, nasa gitna tayo ng X. Kaya siya X over 2. At ng kanyang rotation is counterclockwise. So, eto ay negative. So, ating simplify. x square. So, eto na yung ating moment equation. So, next proceed naman tayo sa ating slope equation. So, integrate natin. Copy lang natin to. So, magiging siyang x square over 2. Eto naman. x cube over 3. Then, add tayo ng constant. 
Simplify natin. 2 times 2 is 4 times x square. 3 times 2 is 6 times x cube plus c1. The next, because it ties sa ating diffraction equation. Integrate natin x cube over 3. Integrate natin x raised to 4 over 4 plus c1 x then another constant of integration. Simplify natin. Magiging naman siyang 4 times 3 is 12 x cube minus 6 to 18 24 plus c1 x plus c2. So, ito na yung ating diffraction equation. So, next, after natin ma-determine equation natin, kailangan naman natin gumamit ng beam boundary condition para ma-determine natin yung value ng ating constants of integration. So, take note, meron tayong two constants of integration. Ibig sabihin, ang kailangan lang talaga natin ay dalawang condition. So, take note natin, since ito daw ay simply supported beam, sabi natin, determine muna natin, ay ne, pag simply supported beam, automatic, sa location ng ating support, zero ang diffraction. So, at x is equal to zero, sa position na to, yung ating diffraction ay also zero. And, at x is equal to L, or yung position ng ating second support, yung ating diffraction is also zero. And additionally, since ito ay symmetrical, automatic, at x is equal to L over 2, ang ating slope, y prime, is also 0. So, if x is 0, y is 0. If y is 0, then automatic, itong buong term is 0. If x is 0, any number multiplied to 0, any variable multiplied to 0, automatic 0. So, ito may variable, 0 to. May variable, 0 to. Ito may variable, 0 to. So, ibig sabihin, ang natira lang dito is C2. The rest is 0. So, meaning, C2 is equal to 0. Ngayon, ang pipiliin ko na lang is, parang mas madali itong third condition natin. So, y prime is 0. So, ibig sabihin, y prime 0 times ei is 0. Thus, 0 is equal to x square natin is l over 2 minus x cube which is l over 2 plus c1. Transpose natin. Negative C1 is equal to L time raised to 2 is L square times L R cube. 2 times 2 is 4 times 4 16. Times L raised to 3 is L cube. 2 raised to 3 is 8 times 6 is 48. So, calculate natin. So, 1 over 16 minus 1 over 48 is 1 over 24. So, C1 is equal to negative neto. So, ibig sabihin, ang bagay ng ating EIY is, copy natin to. Ang ating C1 ay negative WO L cube over 24 times X. C2 natin ay 0. So, ito na yung ating official na diffraction equation. Ngayon, ang pinapanap sa atin dito, determine the maximum diffraction. So, again, take note natin. Sabi natin, sa point na kung saan yung ating slope ay 0, yan din yung point na kung saan yung ating diffraction ay maximum. Pag sinabing maximum, yan yung biggest value ng ating 
diffraction. Maximum diffraction, biggest value for our, for our diffraction. So, to find the maximum diffraction, to find max diffraction, using this equation, EI, pero yung Y natin, gamitin max, Y max, is equal to, gagawin natin, at X is equal is equal to L over 2, Y is maximum. So, again, review around ulit. Okay? Sa, sa point sa ating x-axis na kung saan yung ating slope is 0, yan yung point sa ating, yan yung the same point sa ating uh, diffraction kung saan yung ating diffraction is maximum. So, change natin ng x into L over 2. And simplify natin. So, skip natin para make link ating video. So, 12 times 2 raised to 3, yan ay 96. 24 times 2 raised to 4, yan ay 384. And 24 times 2, yan ay 48. And eto, kapag ating ting simplify, ang kakagabasa natin ay negative 5 over 384 times WO times L raised to 4. Then divide both sides by EI, kaya siya may EI dito. And sabi natin, sa ating final answer for diffraction, siya ay nakapositive. Kasi nagkataon dito ay yung ating elastic curve is sa baba since downwards yung ating force. Pero if yung ating applied load ay uh, directed upwards, so meaning yung ating, yung ating elastic curve is also nasa taas, upper part. So positive diffraction siya. Kaya sa ating formula, always positive siya. Kasi yung ating direction is depende sa ating problem. Pero pag ang figure natin is the same, the same figure, ibang direction, same pa rin yung formula natin.